My father had uh, 13 brothers and sisters, three survived. His father, well, my grandfather, his father was a rabbi. He was shot by the Nazis in the street. Uh, my grandmother was killed by them. His, in 19, I guess it's 38, 39, when Kristallnacht happened, um, my grandfather, who was a businessman in Berlin, but they lived in the Jewish ghetto, but they, uh, they were pretty well-to-do, decided to pack his family and leave. Decided not to go back to Berlin. They wound up in Brussels, Belgium, uh, where they uh, somehow got connected to a Protestant family. And from 1940 until 1945, when Belgium was liberated by, I think, the Americans and the British, uh, they were hidden in a basement. They would hear Churchill, they would hear uh, the radio, you know, from free Europe. Uh, and they knew something was happening, but they were eventually arrested by, by the Germans. And they were sent to a concentration camp on a train. And I guess they knew about D-Day sort of second hand because the train stopped and was abandoned. And the soldiers that were on, you know, the German soldiers that were guarding the train disappeared. And I guess they went to fight um, the folks uh, that were invading at D-Day. And they made their way back to Brussels. Uh, they were able to break out of the train, made their way back. It's nothing to be sorry about. It's something that we think about every day. And with what's going on in the world now, uh, you just have to be super vigilant and aware.